ben nog steeds Floor en uh, Theo krijgt nog steeds alle vrijheid om weer een uh, mooi nieuw kapsel te maken. Floor is een uh, model for me. I have a free hand in the hairstyle she wants. She turns for you so that you can see how her hair grows out. <laughs> and this hairstyle is about uh, seven weeks or something like that old, I think. Yeah. Eight. And it's a bit longer because it's summertime. Thank you. Hello, friends on YouTube. Flo is back to model for me. Now, uh, it's still a bit summertime in Holland. Not long because uh, winter is coming. You can also see it on the trees, on the leaves. They're getting nice orange and gold tones. So I'm gonna make a, a new color on her. We went for a long time for red. So now I'll cover for it. A yes, very bright copper. And I'm gonna make the hairstyle a lot, a lot more punky. So. Now it's still a soft looking hairstyle, or we make it some hard lines in it so it can be exciting. Start to apply a little bit condition on the hair, just on the ends, so it can make nice easy with cutting. Wetting the hair. And the conditioner I sprayed on is nice to work with because it holds the moist uh, much longer in the hairs, but also it makes uh, the ends not that rough. Come apart me some lines. I part myself this line, so this will be the no new short line, and it will be nice short. Started with a clip comb, take the largest one I have, and work my way up. As you can see, I work till I get on the fall of the skull, and I'm not getting higher. Always work in the opposite lines. And Floor has a real nice curve into her hairs. All the hairs bent in a nice flowing line. Get also a little part of the fringe with it, so I get a stronger baseline on the sides. Will you still fast? Yeah, it's a little lekker. Over massage gesproken. Yeah, this is. The side of this line I connect from the other side. So you see the nice flowing curve into this line. So it's the opposite line of that line. Put on a smaller clipper comb. Put on a smaller clipper comb. And then you have to go out early, not getting high up, because otherwise you change the length. But most of the times the length of the, the blades on top is the same as the clipper comb you used. So the larger clipper comb is where you comb through the hairs and where you lay it on the skin, it's the shorter version.
Just so you take only the underlines. When I have a doubt about the length, I just comb. So I can fade the line. Into my number one. Clip a comb. And this I only use in the underlines of course. On the contour I go into the shape of the hairs and the contour of course. Get rid of this. Put my blade to the back, so I have the same length as the clipper comb I used. And clean the contour line. So now I have a strong frame to work on. Clean the face from small hairs and now cut to the front. Dat is denk ik vent die hiernaast heeft gezeten. Gebeurt hier allemaal in de bouw. Ja, dat weet je niet, hè? Oké, okay, coming to the front. I want to get a nice short frame. This line I will certainly call darker than the color on top. Make a nice overflow to the short sides. Haartjes kijk op zetten. Spannend, hè? Ja, ik ben wel benieuwd. Ik verbaas me over die kleur van het haar wat ik op de grond zie liggen. Ja. Ja, dat is niet meer wat het was. Nee, je wordt inderdaad stiekem lichter. Nou ja, normaal merk je dat die shampoo wel niet werkt. Ik ben nu zaterdag in de sauna geweest. Mm -hmm. Volgens mij daarna, zondagochtend, heb ik alleen mijn haar nat gemaakt. Toen zat er niks in. En gisteravond, en vanochtend, zat er alleen spul in. Dus ik heb niet meer gewassen. Spul? Ja, gewoon dat... Uh, uh, nee, maar het is nog goed dat je niet was. Ja, maar dat zie je meteen aan de kleur. Mm -hmm. Die kleur verbaast me. Dat dus, mm -hmm. zie ik zelf ook niet meer. <laughs> Using the natural uh, contour lines. So I get a really strong contour. And this will certainly open up uh, face lines. So Gives it a stronger feeling. Het is kleiner dan deze. Een een lijntje erbij. Nou, ik ben benieuwd. Ja, leuk. Go in the natural lines, clean the contour. And in that line, I take a little tattoo line, not too much, just to give it that wow factor. Thank you. 
clean this up. Free it up here. Go to the other side. That feels gek. That feels heel gek. So that hair over that geschoren stuk. Yeah, but this goes out the other side. Yeah, but it feels gek. It is wel heel sexy. Yeah. Dat staat je heel mooi. Daar een donker is. Dat knal oranje, maar dan wordt een beetje oranje tint. Dan wordt het wel een gaaf kleur. Oké. Dan rekenen we voor jou. Ik vertrouw erop. Ik hoop ik hou voor jou, dus dat komt goed. Oké, okay, made also on this side a new contour line. So part hairs, and this will just be the underline, nothing more than that. So I only want to work on the contour. For her, uh, I have a little bit too large clips, but I have to work with what I have in the studio. Getting in the underline. Yes, I do with a comb. Just pressing it up. Set it with a side view. Watch where it ended, you can see this. I take only about a centimeter of the line behind the ear. So I get a nice strong contour line. Het verschil kan heel goed horen hoe fijn deze is. Lay hairs over the lines of cutting. Work also the lines of the natural fall. So I lay them nicely over the cut I made. Try to find myself a way to work to that line. Because this parting line is very important for me in this hairstyle. So I correct that a little bit. So this part I need for the overflow to my to my to the back. So I made myself this line. So I want to create also this line, so I go in, be aware that I don't go deep in. It is only a line to get some color on the hairs. Gently in the natural fall. Cutting down. But coming on the back, that's a different story. When it comes to the back, well, I want to get into the line she naturally has. So I go in and then gently curve down. In her case, it's very easy because she has a natural fall. It's really wonderful for, to do this kind of things. And by laying the hair to the right side, I can make this curve. 
So I go in and curve that. The other line I create is this line. It goes in that line and it travels up. And this line goes to the line B above the ears of the left side. So make sure all the hairs that can fall to the other side lay over the hairs that are made short and curve this line nicely in. And now you can see the connection between the lines. So this line connects to that line and that line connects to that line. Knowing where I want to go, go in. And here I only want to show the line that's laying on the ass. So this on the shape above this ear has to be an undershave just to make it sexy and when she wants to wear the hair to the side you only see that it's short and when she wears the hairs down it's more covered up lay the hair on it now I can contact the lines, so I get the lines all to the same line. Do this in a natural fold, so you can see I work with a small graduation, not a straight line down. I like it when there's a good fall into the hairs, so I don't force any line. So I travel to the front, get rid of all the hairs that are dry. So when I lay the hairs to the back, I create also a nice overflow of that. Gently soften the lines. There's only on the line. So now I have a strong line to work on. So now I can go to the top. Take the hairs up, go to my line of cutting. Get rid of some length. But every time about a centimeter hair. When I come to the rounding, I go into the rounding. So I let my fingers go against the clock, curving around a beautiful skull. Oh, what she said about that? <laughs> so. Thanks to Pop. On top she has a lot of hair, it's mostly ass. Work in the same lines as I did on the first line, gently to the back. When I come to this rounding and I did the upper hair, I'm going to lift the hairs up, I'll lay them in the natural fall and into the curve I made. So I'm certain that I have a graduation on that also, a better fall and a connection line to the top. Go over the same line once again, 
every time you watch with my fingers to the cutting line. Bending them into that line. Het is wel een heel mooi technisch kapsel. Ja, zeker. Take the hairs up, give them the rounding. And connect the lines to each other. Watch it fall. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Marvelous. Park myself first line. And know that the line of cutting is about one half centimeter down. I take a large thinning scissor and get rid of some volume. And do this near to the skin so the upper hair really have a weight but also have a little bit support in the volume. Give it some extra effect on top just by going straight in and just stay watching at the hairs. Find the balance of thinning out. Part myself first line and know that the line of cutting is about one half centimeter down, I take a large thinning scissor and get rid of some volume. And do this near to the skin so the upper hair really have a weight but also have a little bit support in the volume. Give it some extra effect on top just by going straight in and just stay watching at the hairs. Find the balance of thinning out. Coming to my uh, asymmetrical line again, go in so I can make a connection to the short part I created, take off only a part of the length. Knowing that this length will lay to there. And the nice thing of this is that you can hide also this short fringe on top. So the hairs that lay over facial lines cover up the short part that is laying beneath it. But when she wants to, she can show it.
slip slicing. Go to the other side. This side also looks a little bit like a ball cut, but then I have an asymmetrical ball cut. When I would create this on both sides, I would create a ball cut. Not so far cutting, so now I get stuck on the collar. Okay, putting on the protection for coloring. Dat is het lang wordt dat ik heb de zelf ook nog in. Hè? Oh, oké. Okay. Dus dan heb je een breekje die niet, niet onderbroken wordt. Okay. Ja. En mijn uh, world famous plastic vorm. Oké, okay, starting on top. Made for bleach on 3%. Because I want an ultra bright color on top. Still in the orange, because I think orange and reds are looking good on her, but I want to get that fresh orange color. So that's why I light this a bit up. Knowing for sure that it has enough time to light up, because I can, in the same time I color uh, the sides. And I put the step one and two in it of glint line to protect the hairs. And the skin. And this uh, bleach is uh, black bleach of rover hair. It has no ammonia. So it stays cold during the process. I work all the lines up so I can color it on the lines at the same time. The analyzer do with uh, a nice brown color, a copper brown. And into the tattoo line I create also a red line. Also this color I created with 3%, that's 10 volume. Part of my carton wick, lays on, on the line, work my blonde color back, just hold the carton lines, carton weights on line and on the place where they need to be on line. Come the bleach through the hairs, once again there's no ammonia coming off. Of course, it's not into the product, and you can already see it lighting up. Go back to my brown color. It's a copper brown, not the James Brown, but the copper brown. Well, till I get on the cutting line of the clipper. Well, we missed the wall. daarin opvoeten op hoe fijner het voor hun ook later is. Je kunt er een hele beperking op zetten, dat heeft toch eens zin. Already made uh, the color for the line, that's a real red color. 
it's a lock mate color. This I did with uh, do I this I do with uh, six percent. It's twenty volume. Go to the front. Get the eyebrows in the same line as the color, the dark color I created on the sideline. So take a little bit of my copper brown. Just to strong on the facial lines. And when you work with 3% you can do this. And this hair is a different than hairs on top. You only leave the color on for 50 minutes. Then rinse it out with a carton wig and a little bit of shampoo. And that's enough. Now I did my whole coloring. First line is on the line of bleaching. Second line is on the color line. One on the contour. So I keep all the colors separate. Closing the plastic foil. I'm certain that I will take 25 minutes to get the color on the sides like I will and that in 50 minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, back from uh, coloring. Now, this is what came out. She normally colors her hair red, 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 red. So now we're going for a nice copper tone. Create a copper tone with a 749. Uh, the color of Lac May. And I make this color with 3% uh, and volume and uh, step one in it. The nice thing of the bleach is that you don't see any irritation on the skin. So now I fill in the hair on top with a nice stable color. Come this product through the hairs, making sure everywhere is color. What I told you, I leave it this way, 25 minutes. Most of when I color after a bleaching, I leave the color open. Otherwise, there's a possibility you get still a bit of irritation on the skin, and now all of them is away, so you don't get any irritation. We'll be back. Hello, back from coloring. So after 25 minutes, we rinse it out and um, put step two over it from the glint line. So I have beautiful effect. Um, gonna use um, an alpha setting lotion. Gonna blow dry this with uh, use of my fingers. Pulling a little bit on the hairs. This makes the hairstyle afterwards a lot stronger. Using a Verove Hair uh, wax product, give it also a little drop of oil. It makes it a bit hard to get it fluid, but it gives a better product to style with. It toughens this, the product a lot, but it adds also more shine.
work outside like a ball cut. So total, two total different hairstyles. Give also the sides a little bit of the product. So give it some shine. Shine your light on me. Now thank Flora for being my model. Thank you for watching. She will certainly turn and show you the end result. We we'll see each other next video. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, you might. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Top. Thanks to you. Een foto's maken. <laughs> ik ben nog steeds Floor en uh, Theo krijgt nog steeds alle vrijheid om weer een uh, mooi nieuw kapsel te maken. Floor is uh, got a model for me. I have a free hand in the hairstyle she wants. Yeah. She turns for you so that you can see how her hair grows out. <laughs> and this hairstyle is about uh, seven weeks or something like that old, I think. Yeah. Eight.